Good morning everyone, I am Melvin Minocorpus and you know me as Maestro Melvin. And our topic for today is all about Filipino writers in Spanish colonization. Let's get right into our discussion. The objectives for this lesson are Elaborate Philippine literary works during the Spanish colonization. Identify the notable Filipino writers from the Spanish colonization. Lastly, show interest exploring more Filipino writers and literary works. Let's begin! The totality of Philippine literature is mostly comprised of works from the Spanish colonization period. With the colonization spanning 333 years from 1521 to 1898, Filipinos had used literature as an entity to set revolutions for freedom and justice into motion even after the Spaniards. Not only literary works from this period made remarkable historical accounts but also fortified Filipino culture, values, and especially arts. Filipino writers in the Spanish colonization period were called Latinos due to their fluency in both Spanish and Tagalog. These are the notable writers that paved their names on Philippine literature during the Spanish period. Thomas Pinpin, known as the Prince of the Filipino Printers. Pinpin was the first Filipino author who wrote in Tagalog and Spanish. His book, Librong Pag-aaralan ng mga Tagalog ng Wikang Kastila, is what made Pinpin known to be the first Filipino to publish and print a book during the Spanish colonization. The piece entirely written by himself in Old Tagalog format and was published in 1610. Luis Rodriguez Varela Luis Manuel Valentin Rodriguez Varela is in Sena, a Tondoborn mestizo, was a Philippine nationalist pioneer during the Spanish colonization, who was also known as El Conde Filipino, which translates to the Philippine Count. He was born on February 13, 1768 and died in the year 1826. His works were focused on advocating social change in the Philippines that were inspired by the Enlightenment and the French Revolution. His work is El Parnaso Filipino, or Philippine Parnassus, written in 1814. Pedro Paterno Pedro Alejandro Paterno was born on February 27, 1858 in Santa Cruz, Manila. He was a Philippine politician known for being the mediator in the pack of Biyak na Bato. Also a poet and a novelist, Paterno's work Ninay was considered to be the first novel written by a native Filipino. He died on April 26, 1911 due to cholera. His works are Ninay, written in 1885, Sampaguitas y otras poesas varias, or Jasmines and other various poems, written in 1880, and Doña Perfecta, written in 1876. Isabelo de los Reyes, known as Don Belong, Isabelo was a Filipino politician and writer who is now deemed as the father of Philippine folklore and among other titles. He was born on July 7, 1864 and died on October 10, 1938. Don Belong's venture in journalism began when he published La Invasion de Limahong, which propelled him to write for various newspapers like El Republicano and El Heraldo. He founded the workers' movement in the Philippines during the Spanish period, and the Church Iglesia Filipina Independiente, which served as a revolt against abusive Catholic hierarchy. His works are El Folklore Filipino, written in 1889, Las Islas Visaya and La Epoca de la Conquista, written in 1889, Historia de Filipinas, written in 1889, lastly, Historia de Ilocos, Written in 1890, Francisco Baltazar. Popularly called Balagtas, Francisco is the acknowledged master of traditional Tagalog poetry. Of peasant origins, he left his hometown in Biga, Bulacan for Manila, with a strong determination to improve his lot through education. His works served profound impact on Philippine literature, which made him to be one of the greatest Filipino literary laureates. Florante at Laura is considered to be his greatest work and the cultural icon for the Philippines. His works are Florante at Laura, La India Elegante y El Negrito Amante, Orosman at Zafira, Jose Rizal, notable for being the national hero of the Philippines. Jose Rizal chose the realistic novel as his medium. 
Choosing Spanish over Tagalog meant challenging the oppressors on the latter's own turf. By writing in prose, Rizal also catechized with the Balagtas suggestion of the figurative indirection which veiled the supposed subversiveness of many writings at that time. In a sense, Rizal's novels and patriotic poems were the inevitable conclusion to the campaign for liberal reforms known as Propaganda Movement, which by Graciano Lopez Haina and M. H. Del Pilar, the two novels so vividly portrayed corruption and oppression that, despite the lack of any clear advocacy, they served to instill the conviction that there could be no solution to the social ills but a violent one. His works are Noli Metangre, written in 1887, El Filibusterismo, written in 1891, Mi Ultimo Adios, written in 1896, and lastly, Kundiman, written in 1889. Graciana Lopez Haina Haina was a Filipino journalist, a writer, reformist, and a national hero who is well known for his newspaper, La Solidaridad. He is also one of the three notable illustrados of the Spanish-Philippine history who set the propaganda movement into motion. His works are Fray Botod, Big Bellied Friar, La Hija del Fraile, the Daughter of a Friar, and lastly, Esperanzas, Hope. Marcelo Hilario del Pilar y Gatmaitan. Del Pilar, also known by his pen name Plaridel, was a Filipino writer, lawyer, journalist, and Freemason. Del Pilar, along with Jose Rizal and Graciano Lopez Haina, became known as the leaders of the reform movement in Spain. He is regarded as the father of Philippine journalism for his 150 essays and 66 editorials mostly published in La Solidaridad and various anti-friar pamphlets. His works are La Patria, The Fatherland, Sagot ng España sa Hibik ng Filipinas, written in 1889, Ang Kadakilaan ng Diyos, written in 1888, Andres Bonifacio, Andres Bonifacio y de Castro was a Filipino revolutionary leader and the president of the Tagalog Republic. He is often called the father of the Philippine Revolution. Bonifacio's most important work are his poems, the most well-known being Pag-ibig sa Tinubuang Lupa. Jacinto wrote political essays expressed in the language of the folk. Significantly, although either writer could have written in Spanish, Bonifacio, for instance, wrote a Tagalog translation of Rizal's Ultimo Adios. Both chose to communicate to their fellow men in their own native language. His works are Mi Abanico, written in 1870, Pag-ibig sa Tinubuang Lupa, written in 1896, Ang Dapat Mabatid ng Mga Tagalog, written in 1896, and lastly, Katapos Hibik ng Filipinas. Jose Palma Jose Palma y Velasquez was a Filipino poet and soldier. He was on the staff of La Independencia at the time he wrote Filipinas, a patriotic poem in Spanish. It was published for the first time in the issue of the first anniversary of La Independencia on 3rd of September, 1899. The poem fit the instrumental tune, Marcha Nacional Filipina by Julian Felipe, and it has since been the basis for every translation of the Philippine National Anthem. His work is Filipinas, written in 1899. Antonio Luna Antonio Narciso Luna de San Pedro Inovicho Ancheta, or simply known as Antonio Luna, was a Filipino army general who fought in the Spanish-American War, Philippine Revolution, and Philippine-American War before his assassination in 1899. He became one of the Filipino expatriates who mounted the propaganda movement and wrote for La Solidaridad headed by Galicano Apacible. He wrote a piece titled Impressions which dealt with the Spanish customs and idiosyncrasies under the pen name Tagailog. Also, like many of the Filipino liberals in Spain, Luna joined the masonry where he rose to being master mason. His work is Impressionist. We are now done with discussing the notable Filipino writers in Spanish colonization. I hope you learned something. Always smile, Maestro Melvin is out.